Massive marina fire in St. Charles County sent one person to the hospital this afternoon. You saw it unfold first on Fox from Bomberito Automotive Sky Fox. Fox 2's Zara Barker is live outside Woodland Marina in the Orchard Farm area. So, Zara, what's the latest out there? Yeah, right now the fire chief tells me that they do have this fire contained and under control, but right now they are working to battle just a few hot spots that have shown up. Scared, terrified. It's part of my family and everything else, so it's tough. Around 2.40 Wednesday afternoon, crews responded to a three-alarm fire at Woodland Marina along the Mississippi River, sending in 100 firefighters from surrounding areas. A boat inside this storage facility caught fire, which eventually burnt down the entire building with 140 boats inside. One of those was Richard Reichert's. I got a phone call from three of my friends and I was picking my kids up from school and said that the rack storage was currently burning. He stood and watched as his boat, Emily's Express, along with 139 others, went up in flames. Well, being that it had my daughter's name on there, it's kind of sad. I told her what was going on, and she immediately asked if the boat was okay, and I told her no, it was a complete loss, and she cried almost the whole way out here. But former Woodland Marina Harbor Master Joe Borman says there could have been more boats inside. In the rack storage room, ballpark, it holds probably 275 boats and they go all the way up to four high. Our Bomberito Automotive Sky Fox flew over the scene as the fire destroyed two buildings and damaged at least one other. The black smoke could be seen from more than 30 miles away. We pray for Woodland that they can get back up on their feet. Angela Wiseman's home is just 100 yards away from where the flames tore through the metal shed. My boyfriend called me. I was in Winsville working and he said, um, the whole marina is on fire. I rushed home and then everything was fine here, but this is obviously tragic. And crews tell me that they're still trying to figure out what started that initial fire on the first boat, which then sent the shed completely up in flames. As soon as we find that information out, of course, we will be the first to let you know. Live in St. Charles County, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News. Thank you.